Hey guys, I'm LB, and Unlimited Dylan told me that I should replay Ant Farm. If you'll remember, we played that in the 7 hour livestream that we had recently. And, uh, unfortunately, I can't actually read the description, because if I go to the item, it just, uh... ...freaks out. It says, this item is either marked as hidden, or you do not have permission to view it. Which is strange, because it shows up just fine in the workshop. So, if you read the description, it just tells you what an ant farm is. And says, see the coincidence. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and get into the puzzle, and see what all has changed. Now, I think something about it was to do with destroying all the turrets. And, you want to be destroy all the turrets, but really... I mean, it's not necessary to complete the puzzle, and I'm not playing this to, to, to try and do that challenge, I'm just trying to see how much of a puzzle this is. Alright, so this area back here, I think we used the funnel with, if I remember correctly. So first problem right away, I didn't go over all the problems in the livestream. I think one of the main problems was how dark everything was, but yeah, the first problem was this. You give us a cube right away, and then we use it right here right away. This fizzler may as well not even be there, because there's no challenge to bring the cube from here to here and block the fizzler. But, at least we do use the cube multiple times, because we actually have to bring it over here, if I recall correctly. So let's go ahead and get that done. Yeah, what we have to go do is stand on this button. And then we do this, and this, and that brings the cube over to us. So at least the cube does get used multiple times, which is good. Alright, so let's take this, and I don't actually remember where to put it. Oh, right in there. It disables that, though. There's a laser now? Was there a laser before? I don't actually remember. Oh, there's that up there. Yeah, that's a turret. And I can't remember... Nope, that's the only one. Alright. Is there a portal surface on that side? Not... not able to tell. Alright, so this ant line. What you could do is you could move this to the other side and maybe move this light over so the antline has room to go to the fizzler, because having to go into the room and the back around like this is a bit of an issue. Looks like we need a laser. Oh, and there actually is a laser right there. So that laser is immediately given to us, and we can immediately see that we've, uh, messed up. Ha ha ha! So that's an actual puzzle now! Ooh, okay. Is there a portal surface up there? I don't remember. Let me just try and jump and check. Nope. Alright. So this time... This time's an actual puzzle. Interesting. Let me just double check what else is up here. Nothing much. Alright then. So. Let's go ahead and head back over here. We want to put this back here. Now the issue I see... Is what happens... Oh, it's probably gonna go over the cube, right? Yeah. Okay. So... Now we can just use our green portal here. And I think when we shoot this here... Yeah, there we go. And then, we can do this. So now, you've turned this into an actual puzzle now. That's really good. I appreciate that. Let's see here. Portal here. And then, getting the cube is going to be the interesting part. Yes, how will we get the cube in here? Because if we take it off of here, this fizzle is going to be deactivated. Oh, it's in the cube now, really. Oh, so I do have to raise it a little bit. Alright. So at this point... Maybe I should use the funnel first. Now that I've got the green portal placed there... Yeah, alright. Turn this into an actual puzzle, that is good. Portal here. Let's get that cube over to us. And then... We place that there. There we go. Actual puzzle. Amazing job. Oh, and that does... that does that. So... Probably instead what we'll want to do... Is... this. And this. Well, actually... Let's walk into here. Not kill ourselves. 
<laughs> yeah. That's an issue, is that those things will clear the portal. That's actually rather annoying, because now I have to redo the entire puzzle, so... Good thing I quick saved, so I can just reload my quick save real quick. But yeah, try to avoid doing that, because having to force the player to, to redo parts of the puzzle just because of a random decision Valve made is kind of not fun. Alright, so portal's there. We'll use this portal this time. Get this guy out here. And then we'll use this portal. Here we go. Save, and continue. That gets us up here, and the turret kills us. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna jump to the speed gel instead, and we're just gonna ignore the turret for now. I mean, I could take it out if I wanted to, but I'm really not... I don't really care about that, to be honest. Let's see... You know what, why not? There we go. Did it just for you, Unlimited Dylan, just cause you made that puzzle... a puzzle. Alright. Onward. So this part... is just... a little bit unnecessary. But it does take us over here, at least. So let's see, we want to do that. And there's a fizzler there, so we can't bring the cube with us anyway. This turret is pointless. What's in here, I wonder? Another turret, that's right, I remember that being there. This is where you need more light. Because it's way too dark, and I know- I know, like you've said, that the challenge is to hunt the turrets or whatever, but that's- that's not- that's not a reason to make a map. A reason to make a map is if you have a puzzle. Because Portal 2 is a puzzle game, and plenty of other games have workshops that aren't puzzle games. So let's see, there's a couple there, but they're- they're facing the wrong way. What do we have in here? A light bridge, right. Okay. So this is still pretty simple so far. Let's go ahead and shoot this on this side. I think this hasn't changed very much. So, we want to put this here, yeah. That way, we don't fall to our death. Gotcha. Tear us up. Take him out. Not to dinner, but just take him out. Alright, so now we're over here. I think this part was a fling part. The lighting does seem a bit better here. Yeah, I think... I can't remember, but I think there's some really dark places. We'll, we'll see coming up here, but there were some very... Very dark places in one here. Ah, oh, there's one of those turrets you were saying I missed. Uh oh. Let's see, how do we get out of here now, by the way? Oh my gosh, how did that happen? There you are. Let's see, let's put this guy right about. Oh, I guess that works. My question is. Ah, oh, there we go, that's how we get out of here. This guy can go over here into the deadly goo. In this area, I want to know what this is all about because there's there's nothing in here. There's like a couple portal surfaces, and then there's a fizzler that never turns off. So it seems really pointless to me. Like, why are those portal surfaces even there? Why is this fizzler even here? Really strange area. Alright, let's head up there now. Right, so this area over here I think is the, the poorly lit area, if I remember correctly. What's with the random design here? I know it's supposed to be an ant farm, but... I mean, you could at least make it a little bit more interesting rather than just completely random. There's that. Let's see, what else? We have... I guess it is more... better lit. Let's see, let's try going up there. Oh, and there's the exit. Yeah, no challenge to get here, it's just looking for portal surfaces. So yeah, the lighting is better over... over around here and such, because I remember before it used to be very, very dark. I appreciate you inc increasing the lighting like that. Let's see, I think we just had... yeah, we had our portal there and portal here, so yeah. And this is the exit right here, and I'm pretty sure I've probably missed some turrets somewhere. But yeah, this is literally the entire map. To be honest, I don't actually see any turrets that I missed, but... Oh yeah, they do render. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't see any more. I think I probably got all the ones that I could see, anyway. Alright, well, I replayed the map, you made improvements, good job! I think that initial puzzle at the start was very good, but the rest of the- the rest of the map is still kind of iffy, so yeah, keep- keep up the good work. Actually, I wish I could remove my downvote, cause now the puzzle isn't so bad, but yeah, whatever. I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!